So in my recent video, I was installing Windows 10 on the laptop that I've upgraded with an M.2 drive. And my excitement and happiness went quickly from that to being very angry at trying to install Windows 10 on it. I do realize that this version of Windows 10 is 1909. I feel like things changed or maybe I missed something. Please let me know. This video that you're about to watch is completely unedited aside from the part of me just adding this intro, but everything else is just straight through without cuts. And my experience was not, not very good installing Windows 10. It, the, the stuff and the amount of things they were making me do just to get into the Windows 10 was very infuriating at some point. And uh, I hope that doesn't translate to you guys, but I just wanted to share it. You know, this is unedited. Uh, fairly long clip, so here you're going to watch me basically install Windows 10 on this laptop. Alright, here it comes. Uh, now we're going to see how quickly we can install Windows on it. Keep in mind that the USB stick that I put on there is, uh, that I plugged in, it's a very old one. That is super slow too, so, but you know, I digress. We'll see how fast we can install operating system on it. If it takes too long, I'll certainly uh, edit that out, but hey, uh, who knows? Uh, maybe it's going to be pretty quick. All right. You know, to select new install, by the way, if you're just, there's our drive. I'm going to create a new partition. I'm just going to leave it a default because I want to use all of it. And what was I going to say? So it creates a bunch of different partitions. One just has to be like that for... Um, just the way operating system works. Do you want to proceed? Yes, and uh, yeah, very important. Otherwise, you won't be able to boot. And I get that question a lot from uh, my video on installing an M.2 adapter. Um, very popular video. I want to say it's almost 400,000 views at this point. People always ask me, "Can I boot? You know, can I boot OS through it?" Well, if your computer supports uh, UEFI, then yes. Uh, that's that's definitely possible but not just the regular UEFI either sometimes you gotta have the most recent one most recent version I'm gonna get what was it the most current one 1.3 or 1.4 I'm not sure but um, this one is uh, definitely going fast considering it's it's loading from a USB 2.0 on a really old thumb drive that matter of fact I think I washed one time in my pants because it's one of those that you put on your keychain you know um, it, it it fell off the keychain and it stayed in my pants in my pocket but uh, I still use it it's an old 32 gigabyte drive it's slow but hey that's going pretty fast so I'm happy with that I um, what we're gonna do here I'm going to do a fresh install I'm going to install Crystal Disk, and we're going to run that right away. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to install any drivers for this Samsung NVMe. I'm going to test it without any Samsung drivers installed. Whatever Windows gives me, I'm going to test it with that. What happens, happens, right? And I'm going to make sure I disable uh, any... I'm going to put basically a laptop this into airplane mode so there's no Wi-Fi um, enabled. I'm only going to enable it just so I can install Crystal Disk. But I don't want any updates to start doing because that's the first thing that happens once you install a fresh Windows copy. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Windows 10, if you already had Windows 10 on the computer, you can just reinstall it. And if you get that pop-up, do you want to register and whatnot? Uh, don't worry about that. As soon as you get on the internet, it's going to be, it's going to register it. You know, so, because it knows it's hardware based. So it's okay for you to install a new hard drive. I mean, they know that you're going to install a new hard drive because it knows. Um, it's, it's basically going to know that it's the same computer and it's the same key, same key and same license. So you don't have to worry about, oh, am I going to be able to reinstall Windows on it? Yes, you can. I will definitely get a pop-up. Do you want to register it or, you know, this and that? But as soon as I get to the, on the Internet, get on the Internet, it's going to work. Um, same thing. If you're doing a fresh install on a brand new computer, if you have a Windows 7 key, you can also use that to, um, you know, to activate your Windows. That's what I meant to say. Register, activate, not register. You know, it's it's different. It's activate. Registering Windows is 
basically creating a Windows Microsoft account to register your product. But how long have I been speaking? This is almost done. It's 95%. And um, that's getting ready files for installation. We'll see how long it takes to install uh, everything else. But so far it's going really fast, considering it has to read from a, something super slow. But that's okay, you know. I, I think it's going to be really fast anyways. Wow, it instantly installed features. Uh, there's, there can't, you can't get any updates because it's not connected to the internet. And wow, that's it's going pretty fast. Let me do a little zoom out action here, so you guys can see the little progress bar down there. Oh wow, it's already done. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, okay. See, it's gonna restart up there. Oops, sorry about that. I meant to shake the screen. I just accidentally hit the the tripod. So it's rebooting right now, and should I unplug it? No, I was thinking about my USB stick. Hopefully it doesn't, cause it's gonna, hopefully it doesn't try to boot from that again. I, uh, well, I'm just gonna let it be. If I have to remove the thumb drive in a second here, I'll certainly do that. All right, come on, baby, come on, come on, baby. Let's make it happen. Let's make it for the people. Let's make it happen for the people watching. By the way, guys, since we're waiting on this. Come on, man, click the like button. Click the like button. I know you got one second. Okay, so it's trying to reinstall it again. So I'm just gonna pull the hard, the uh, thumb, thumb drive out real quick, and I'm going to cancel this. It's what I should have done right away. So once I, once it, this happens, it's it's going to, it, it's done. That, that was, what was it? I'm gonna have to check. Maybe three minutes or something like that. Maybe three minutes to install from a slow thumb drive. Man. I'm very optimistic to see how fast this is gonna go. Wow, did you see that? That went quickly. All right. Now, usually, also whenever you create a new like a login account for somebody, that can take a while too. Basically, your login ID. Whenever you, you know, trying to do something on the computer and you gotta have a login ID. We'll see how fast that goes. I suspect here very shortly it's going to come up to that window where it's going to ask me do you want to activate all these Windows 10 features and whatnot which I personally like to disable but for the sake of moving this along I'm just going to leave it enabled later on I can disable it I um, I don't like I don't like all that you know too much data being sent over the internet to Microsoft or anybody else I like to keep things as private as possible. All right. The screen went dark and it rebooted once more. Let's give it a sec. Give it a sec here, guys. Give it a sec. It's almost there. It's almost there. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I sound like a. <laughs> Here we go. I was gonna say I sound like uh, Elvis, but I probably don't. Elvis Presley. There it is. Cortana. I'm Cortana. No, I Cortana. No, come I'm on, Cortana. Sign in here, attach a Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to How do, do I get an exit out of this? Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. Come on, Cortana. To stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yes. Come on. Come on, Cortana. Alright, cool. Sure. Skip. And uh, let's do... I do need to connect real quick to my Wi-Fi, which is this one. I'm going to put my password in. I think that's right. Sure, sure. Come on. Let's see how fast we can do this. By the way, by the way, this is like one of the record times for installing Windows 10, honestly. This is all real time. I haven't cut once. I haven't cut even one 
time. I can't wait to see the uh, the test, the crystal disc test on this. I'm really curious. I don't want to see what's new on Windows. Come on, man. Just just get in there. Just a moment. All right. I'm waiting. All right. There it is. Nope. I'm not gonna use Microsoft account. No. No, 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 no. Come on. I don't want to use this. Come on, and back. Let's just do that a couple, man. I don't want to, look, I hate this. Get a new one. Get get a new create account. I'm trying to create a local account and it's being so so difficult. They changed it. Create an account. No. I'm not Can't believe I'm spending so much time on this. This was it was never like this, but I don't want to create a Microsoft account. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Fine. Fine, create a new account. Unbelievable. Yes, I know. I already have it somewhere else. I'm not going to This is ridiculous. I'm going to create a local account later. My god. I'm just going to put whatever. Oh, I probably shouldn't otherwise I won't be able to log in. No, no, I had enough spying of you. See what I'm talking about? Oh, get out of here, man. Oh, I'm just going to put in whatever. Jeez. Can't believe it's making me do all of this crap. I'm just going to pick whatever. Unbelievable. And now it's, look, this is so stupid. Now it's asking me for my phone number. 555-555-555. Umba. Unbelievable, man. This is so ridiculous. It didn't do this before, I'm telling you. Oh, now he wants a pin? Now you want a, f oh. man. Zero 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 zero. Zero 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 zero. Oh my god. Can't believe you're making me do this crap. Unbelievable. I'm sorry guys, I didn't know it was gonna turn into this. What is the do you the more No. I didn't know it was gonna it it's this is I did, I did not think it was going to take more longer than installing the Windows operating system. I hate you, Cortana. This is so stupid. Oh, look, of course it's going to... No. Mm. Decline. Um, oh my, look at all this crap. Now look at all this crap. I wasn't going to talk smack about them, but look at all this crap. All of that stuff is, is spying on you and trying to advertise to you and trying to sell you their service. I understand you gotta have a business. But man, this is too much. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. My God. It really ruined my day, this 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 crap. Hopefully the benchmark of this. And I'm, I guarantee you, I will disable all of that stuff. I just don't have time to show you guys this right now. But I'll disable all of those services. Everything. Everything's going to be disabled. This is ridiculous. I, man, I'm, I'm this close. I'm this close to switching to Linux. This close. It's ridiculous. 
may take several minutes. I better not. I just put in a new, new hard drive. New solid state M.2 PCIe NVMe drive. I hate you, Microsoft. Look at this. Wants to restart immediately. Hell no. Where's the store? Stupid store. We have to go to stupid store to install this thing. Search Crystal Disk. Come on now. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. Where is a crystal disk? I know it's there. No. Come on. I know it's you stupid thing. Oh my god. I misspelled it. There it is, Crystal Disk app. Look at that. They made it so difficult to find. No. Get. Can't believe it, man. I have to jump through all these hoops. Come on. Install. All right. This is insanely ridiculous. All right, I'm going to do Okay, airplane mode is on. I can hear the laptop going doing overtime. So there's something going on here. Something is using power. Can you see that? <laughs> 